Hey guys, I'm Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about programming language. This is part one. So what are programming languages? So the language used to instruct computer is known as programming language. And there are different types of programming language like machine language, assembly language and high level language. So we know language is nothing but a medium to communicate with anyone. And similarly, a language that is used to communicate with computer is known as programming language. So with the help of these languages, we can provide instructions to computer so that computer can perform on those instructions. Now there are different types of programming languages available out of which the important ones are machine language, assembly language and high level language. Machine language. The language is directly understandable by computer. So a language which is directly understandable by computer or directly understandable by machine are known as machine language. Basically this language is composed of only binary numbers. So everything is written in form of binary numbers only. There are few limitations with this language like it's very hard to code in this language. It's very hard to remember the language and the instructions and of course it's very hard to debug. Now what is debug? In programming or in computers bugs are known as errors and removing bugs is known as debugging. So since it's a hard language to code and remember it is an error prone language. So there are lot and lot of chances of committing errors and that's not all. It's very hard to find the error and remove it. So that's why debugging is also difficult in machine language. Now, as we know, we humans try to find out easiest way to do hardest thing. So we invented a new language known as assembly language. So what we did is we replaced all the binary codes with the mnemonic codes. Now what are mnemonic codes? So in simplest term, mnemonic codes are nothing but a three to four letter of alphanumeric codes. Uh, like here you can see ADD add is a mnemonic code. Now suppose in binary numbers or in machine language, if 11001001 means addition. So what we did is we replaced this binary code with a mnemonic code add which is much more meaningful for the programmers. So what is the advantage of assembly language? So definitely it's easier than machine language, but there were lots and lots of codes to remember. And that's not all. It's slower than machine language in execution. Why so? Because machine still understands machine language only. So whatsoever we have written in assembly language need to be converted to machine language so that we can provide those instructions to the machine. So that makes programming a bit slower in assembly language. So we came up with a new language known as high level language. Now what was the interesting part of it? We have removed all the mnemonic codes with symbols from English and mathematics. So now we use those alphabets and words available in English language along with symbols of mathematics and formed a new language known as high level language. As we have used English and mathematics, this language is much closer to the programmers. As you can see, to add two numbers and store it at a place, we only need to write C is equals to A plus B. And definitely for the same in assembly language, we have to write uh, some code like str, d, add, a, b and something like that. So definitely high level language was much more easier than the above two. The advantage of it is we need not to remember codes. It was easier to code and definitely in case of error, it was easier to debug. Execution was faster than assembly language, but it was still slower than machine language as we still need to convert a high level language program to a machine language program. There are some examples of high level language like C, C++, C Sharp, Java, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, etc. So in this video, we have discussed about programming languages and their types. So that marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, thank you and take care.